Hey everybody, uh, Noodles McGee here. Um, I hope you've been following along in my videos. I am going to teach you guys how to make a homemade face mask using an old shirt that you don't need. Mine's a little wrinkly, but it will do. So all you need is shirt that you don't mind using, cutting up. I brought two pairs of scissors, we'll see which one works. Pen or marker, which mine I left inside. But I'm, I guess I'm not gonna use a powder marker. Cool. So the first step is to lay out your shirt. Second step is using your hand span, you're gonna go to the very bottom of your shirt and measure it. So like like so. You'll just measure it like this. This is gonna be the width of your shirt. So I am gonna put that right here so you can see it. So you measure it here. Since I left my marker inside, I am gonna just make a little line with my scissors. So that is about a span. Then I'm gonna take now the scissors don't seem to work. And if it's not a perfect cut job, that's okay. So I'm now going to cut all the way through. So I'm gonna cut through the whole thing. And I'm gonna cut straight across. Definitely when you're making these, you're gonna have to have good scissors that can cut through shirts, cloth. Um, hopefully there's a shirt you don't mind cutting up. Okay, I'm almost all the way through. Cool. So now I've cut the bottom. So it looks like this. And now I'm gonna cut it right in the middle. And I'm only going to cut just one side. I'm not going to cut both sides. So I'm just going to cut straight in the middle. Oops, grab the wrong scissors. Here we go. Okay, so now it's long ways. I'm going to fold it so this is now the back side. So now it looks like this. So now I have a cut, one set of cut. So you only need three hand spans worth. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna go one, one, two, one, two, three. I'm going to cut where my hand span finished. That one cut through. I'm going to cut through both sides. Okay, so this is just extra because we don't need that much material. So now it's three hand spans. You're going to measure now. Hopefully you have your marker or pen so this is a good spot. You're going to do two hand spans from where your cut is. So where my cut is on this side. I'm going to go one hand span, two hand span. I would say make a mark. Since I don't have my pen on me, I'm going to just kind of make a little white spot. And on your edges is where you're going to make your ties. So, hey everyone, so my video cut out while I was doing the filming. So you missed a couple of the, the steps. So, so what I did that you missed, so once we cut our, made sure it was only three hand spans, we cut and then we had it folded evenly. And what I did was I made two little spots of two hand spans. So it went one, two, 
and that's where I got my strings and then I cut just about an inch up and then you cut all the way over. What I did first was cut up, cut all the way up and then it cut across. So that's what you need to do. I know it got cut out but I'm going to teach you now how to put on your mask. I would keep the seam side down towards the chin. So I'm going to take my top and I'm going to put it right behind my head. Just a little bow, it's long enough. And then I'm going to take my bottom part and make sure it goes under the chin and put it more up onto my head just to get create balance. Now I have my mask it's on and you guys are ready to go to the store if you need to. If you go for a walk, you'll have this. You can use your extras as filters. Um, I can't wait to see everyone's mask. I hope everyone's staying safe and we miss you at the Y. See you soon.